When it comes to barbecue, Q&M fish, chicken, and ribs is second to none. When it comes to drama, well, let's just say it's non-stop. I'm Aunt Linda, owner slash matriarch of the family. Less drama, more money. I'm Uncle James. I'm the one that makes this whole place run right along with my family members. I'm all about the ching, ching, ching. I'm Asia. You can call me hostess with the mostest. Sweet and saucy, <laughs> I'm the bossy. Can't sleep watching me. It's your boy TJ, straight out of Oakland, California. I don't play by my family, and I don't play by my money. Hey, it's Tierra, AKA T. I pull cards and I cut BS quick. My name's Tamika and I'm the personal assistant. I may be late sometimes, but I come through right on time when they need me. Welcome to Smoky Business. <laughs> Previously on Smoky Business. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for everybody here today and thank you for our blessings and blessing us. So I want to give a big thank you to my QM team for taking charge and stepping up and being a part of the community, donating time, money, and even food. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hi. Oh, and we thank y'all so much. Yes. Oh, from Q&M, yeah. from Q&M. Yeah. We are supporting the whole Black Lives Matter. My girl, Tanisha, Tanisha, man. Such an amazing event right now for the Black Lives Matter. I'm a pull off. You meet me right around the corner. All hop right. in my rat, and then we'll just shoot there and then shoot back. Period. All right, come on. All right, let's go. I understand when things happen, but you got to stay professional. So that's something we're definitely going to be working on because that's not a good look at all. Awesome. All you got to do is learn how to put your top back on your Jeep and get your crews Listen, on. Do not film nothing in there. Nothing. That's where y'all made y'all mistake, okay? Nothing don't stop because of you, because there's another one of you, and there's another one of you, and there's another one of you. I do know that they did everything that they were supposed to do at that Corvette event, and I'm proud of them. I apologize for not being there. I wish I could have, but stuff happens. Our barbecue sauce is a sweet, thick, and deliciously smoky sauce crafted from the ground up and perfected on our grills using a recipe we have served in our restaurant for generations. It's a superbly tangy, slightly sweet, and full texture sauce that clings. No sliding off into the grill coals. It complements anything it touches, including pork, beef, chicken, fish, and even vegetables. It makes ordinary barbecue extraordinary with a splash of dash and a brush. Try us, you'll be glad you did. It's the perfect sidekick to your meat. Grandma tasted, you'll approve. Sweets, beauty, and barber salon. Enjoy beautiful bouncy, shiny hair, an exclusive private salon suite. Indulge in full dining menu options from chilled beverages to delectable dinner entrees. Book a suite today for bridal parties, prom, girls' night, sweet 16, and much more. Call now for a consultation with the beauty pro today by appointment only. 111 Hamilton Avenue, Duquesne, Pennsylvania, 15110. Call now at 412-466-2058. To cry my thing. About a dollar, if you ain't talking about a comma, don't even holler, billion dollar ground. Comma team, ask me what I got for three, I'ma tell I'm not a thing. Like a piece. I'm a spot, try and get a piece. Tell her, ah, we gon' send a brief. Huh? Holla, about a dollar. If you ain't talking about a comma, don't even holler. This is a billion dollar dream and need a billion dollar grind. And they never wanna hustle, but they always wanna shine. It's kinda hard to score sitting on the sideline. Check your shit before you chat it, that's a billion dollar fine. See this fly watching, man, I see it all the time. Mr. Grand Love and drop a comments on the vine. He know like God, know he puts some paper on his mind. Same trick up on the screen, scheming at the combine. If she trying to find a dollar bill, she know them dollars well. Put her on product and keep a climate designer here. It's crazy how the ladies get it, but the bros don't.
wrong. Yo, you can play with your paper, play your below wrong. I'm on a mission for Betty, I'm going in like a guy. My nigga fresh down and kiss it, we got it. I got the bottom, my sister. Tell me if you got a problem, they want to know how I do it. to a local radio station, Whammo, where we're going to do an interview. Um, this gives us the opportunity to do some marketing and to do some advertising for the restaurant. We really need it. Our numbers have suffered because of COVID, and this is an opportunity for us to let the people of Pittsburgh know who we are, giving out some food and letting the local radio announcers taste our food. So this is kind of exciting. Stupid computer. Shouldn't be here today. Let me get this right, cause I ain't got time for James to be talking that crap. I need my money. I need my money. With this whole COVID-19 thing, art and dining cells have been in the gutter, okay? But you know, Linda is very smart and she's very creative. Like she doesn't let anything keep her down for long. So now we have this whole menu fire. Well, we're on menu fire now. And I was against it at first, but it's actually really improved our sales. And I know Uncle James is gonna be so happy all about the ching, ching, ching. Get at us online, cause it's working. It's popping on this lane. Oh, okay, there got the money right there.
my weekly routine right here. Try to do this about three to four times a week. Nice little hike. I'm gonna take y'all on this journey with me. Now it's an uphill battle. Work them legs out. This is my safe haven. I like to come up here and reflect, clear my mind, think about some decisions I'm gonna to have to make. I do miss my Q&M team. I often think about them, my grandparents, the restaurant. I just need to return soon. You know, it hasn't been the easiest times with all the COVID stuff going on. Not able to travel. And even if I am able to travel, I'm not willing to travel and risk my safety and everyone else's safety. But I know I gotta get back. COVID-19 put a pause on everything. Put a pause on life. Put a pause on me returning to Q&M with my family. We got business to handle out there and I'm not able to right now. It's sickening actually. Irritating, draining. As you can see, well, I guess you might be able to guess why I like to come up here. Look at this. This is California for you. You can't find this nowhere else. Stuff, man, because I would come for you and never, and I would end the world. I 
Why are it's you the, digging in my bag? It's the not knowing how to count chicken wings for me. It's the eyebrows for me. It's the hair for me. It's the eyelashes for me. It's the edges for me. It's the mud for me. Am it's I? the big room for me. Oh my gosh, I'm just so mad. Like, this is like straight me all the way up just sitting here bored as hell all day. Nothing to do. Uh uh. Trunks and rolling up in here late. Whatever, Asia. <laughs> Happy birthday, Latoya. <laughs> Happy birthday. Mind your business. Okay, man. I got kids to put to sleep. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> Call it a night. I've been at work today. Why do you all right. playing around all day? No, but she definitely brought this to the y'all. I'm definitely proud of her. I'm like, it's definitely nice as heck. The food was bomb. Had a whole buffet laid out, everything. We kicked it, all the jams, literally. I can't do these new school jams, know that? I'm ready to go. I can do that every, no face mask. I'm ready to go. New customers, but want to sit somebody here for 12 hours. Like, nobody's coming in, nobody's coming out, nobody's sitting down. Talk about clean every 30 minutes. Clean you, you clean. Dang. I am grilling. This is what's called a tomahawk pork chop. Huge. As you can see, grilled vegetables and corn. It's all going to be grilled. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to prep it right quick. So the first thing I do is take a little olive oil. You want to dish this on here so the season will sit. I don't measure nothing. I do the little spring, spring, shake, shake. And I done been doing this so much, I kind of like know how much to put on it and go from there. And you want to take your meat, you want to make sure it's coated all over, especially on this fatty part, because when it's hot on the grill, it's going to have that little teeny little crunch. I'm going to suck it up, let it sit in there. And by the time I get to on the grill, it'll be done soaked in. But what I want to do is, just a little season, just a little season. Don't need too much on the grill. Do a little season. Yeah. See how that's coming on there, sticking there? That season, put it on there, it's going to get that corner, and take it to another level, and it's going to be really good. So, 
that's all the seasoning that I'm doing. Bam, bam, bam. That's it on that. And I'm gonna do my temperature. Right now the grill is bombing, so I wanna keep it up to like three, 350 to get it started, get it going hot. So as you can see, I got my charcoal, got my wood. This is mystique and apple wood in there. Smack them to that season. Now I wanna get that sear. Get it right on the direct fire because I want some, a little bit of grill mark. Okay, now it's time to turn it on, get the other side. I want to make sure we get those grill marks right on there because that's gonna entice the flavor of these meat. As you can see, you see how the grill marks on there? That's all I gotta do for that. Go ahead and put my corn on, but this doesn't take much to do. So, same thing, I wanna get a little grill mark on it. A little stick, non-stick, same thing. Now, my veggies. That'll be last. I take my grill pan. Make sure I lubricate it down. And I'm almost about ready to throw this in. And then I'm going to shut it down. So and then I'm going to take my veggies. Just throw them on in there. Because it doesn't take long for this. And put it in there. You ain't got to be pretty to put it in there. Just take it and dump dump. You know, I like to dump dump things. Put it in there and you sit it on your upper side. Now, I'm about ready to go. Since I got the shear marks on there, I'm gonna take it with the bones towards the heat. Fall apart. Hey, what I say? Like the COVID-19, six feet apart, those are three feet apart. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Grandma told me how to cook. I know it's good. We here. He's gonna kill me. We's here. Uncle James and my niece here. We here. Get ready. Go ahead and do this. He's gonna kill radio. me. So, yeah. Make sure. Let me. Let me spray you down. Hurry up. Get out. Get out the car. Get out. I got you know, hey, I, COVID-19, COVID-19, spread it all down. <laughs> Check it in with a group of people, a cool cast, a dope restaurant in the city of Pittsburgh right now. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Tiara. And y'all know who I am. I'm Uncle James, y'all. Right. I'm in the house. That's right. I mean, y'all got a lot of things bubbling at the same time. So let's start off with this. What's the name of the restaurant? It's called Q and M Fish Chicken Ribs. Please give the address one time. We're at 100 Fourth Park Plaza, Suite A, Plum, PA. You know, under this big umbrella, y'all have things going on. I see y'all on the TV. I'm watching TV. I'm flicking through. I see, like, who these black people on TV? Let them know what y'all got happening right now. Yeah, you want to tell them, T? Go for it. Tell them about so, this show. We got a reality show. It's just trying to get the business out there okay. and just trying to uh, bring views and just show you guys what we do and bring you so you can enjoy our food. That's what's up. Pretty much. Yeah, Smokey, we, what's we, the name of the business again? I'm sorry, what's the name of the show again? Smokey Business is the okay. name of the show. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the CW. See? Pittsburgh CW. IMAX, our fame TV, you can find it. And if you can't find it, call them to the restaurant and I'll give you a diss on it. Yes, You'll get it. Before You'll get we continue it. this, y'all have great media training. Y'all are doing really, <laughs> really good. You know, why? 
It's like, you know, with all the, with everything going on, we see all the ratchet stuff on TV. What made y'all want to do something positive? I mean, I hate to say it, but, you know, what made y'all want to do something positive like this? Well, we still have a ratchet moment. Do we? Do we? You see, I'm missing one of my my nieces. You see, she in here because she was acting a little ratchet. Was that the, wait, is that the hostess? Yeah. yeah with the, oh, the, Lord, she got the, her mouth. Yeah, boy, I had to have her locked down, boy. I couldn't bring her over on the radio station. And it would have been beep, 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 beep. So. so, what we see on TV and what we see when we watch it, that is real life. You know, yes. most reality shows are scripted, like, like the real change to somebody's personality. Is this. What we get when we watch that show. That's what you yeah. get. They ain't nothing for stage. It's stage. Nothing they stage. don't stage. Nothing. <laughs> you see me grab somebody and shake them or whatever, that stage. Uh uh-uh. uh. Let me put this pump in there. Yeah, you got to see our barbecue sauce. Uh, I've seen it. I got three we, of them we, on we, there, we, boy. We, we gave them way over the radio station. That's right, okay. Yeah, what's the one called? Crack. Right? Cracking. That's my <laughs> There you go. That's on the change there. Cracking, boy. That's the cracking. I got the cracking and the honey mustard and the regular barbecue sauce, you know? Um, You brought up the restaurant, you know. First of all, congratulations on the reality show. Make Thank sure you. everybody please watch this reality show. Um, but let's talk about the restaurant. And you brought up COVID as well. You know, that hit everybody, caught everybody off guard. Was it, you know, in this area right now, I think I read maybe like 110 restaurants have closed down because of COVID. Like, you know, things, restaurants have been around for years. You know, with the delivery, like you said right now, any other adjustments, any other things you've been doing, trying to just to make sure you stay above water, just to survive, or, you know, y'all might be booming. Who knows? Like, we, you know, we are booming. Oh, congratulations. We are booming. We still, the lights are still on. Okay. The water's still running. Right. The food's still coming out the door. It's just coming out a little slow, you know, when you're coming out there with a mask on. Right. But we, it, we, we started off slow, but our food is so much good and quality. People right. want that food. So they're willing to come in there. So we adjusted the outside, you know, we, you know, you call in, menu five, bring it out there. They, they know that they can't come in the restaurant. We come out with the mask, everything. So we made the adjustment, but our adjustment works, you know, and people are still coming to us. I ain't pushing out no pizza. Right. I'm pushing out soul food, right. barbecue, right. grill and all. And then I got a monster grill out back that I had made. So it's always smoking and good, and you know we we using everything quality stuff. Thank y'all again for coming out. It was a pleasure, brother. Thank you. Thank you. A pleasure, bro. All right, man. That was a good deal. All right. that was- man, that was exciting. That was my first radio experience, and probably everybody else's. Um, shout outs to Whammo 100.1. They and really enjoyed the food and hopefully this will bring us some great advertising and numbers to the restaurant we really needed that